What up all the EuroLeague fans out there? My name is Kyle Hines from Olympia, Milano, and this is my apartment here in Milan, Italy. The first thing I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna walk backwards, is something, my wife, she's an event planner and a balloon decorator, and this is something that she does every year for just about every holiday. Um, she does a nice little balloon decoration for all the kids um, here in our apartment building. Enough with that, the decorations. Now come on in, I welcome you guys to my apartment. We live kind of almost like in the, the center, so we got a little bit of a smaller, uh, smaller apartment, but it has great views and it's right in the heart of everything. So we can get to, you know, everywhere. I mean, within, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. We chose this area just because of that. There's a lot of different things to, to see and to do around here. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys, we have a whole bunch of family pictures. This one right here is from my, you know, my son, Justin, when, as he was growing up. Then we got our family here. Then we come over here, got more photos of my daughter, Christmas photos. Every year we do a photo shoot. You can see here, there's a picture, two pictures. It's my daughter right there, then my son right there. And then, you know, we got love right there because you know, we always want to try to have a house full of love. It was difficult to kind of find a couch that would fit, especially me, you know, I'm a kind of a big guy. So we found a couch. This is what I do. I come home from practice and I'm just here, laying here, chilling. Right here, this is our little eat area right here. So we eat a lot of meals, do a lot of work right here. I'm a terrible cook. I don't do any cooking at all. I do a lot more eating than cooking. This right here is the key to playing in EuroLeague for 12 years and having a 14, 15 year career. This little water machine. I drink a lot of water. I drink almost, I would say a gallon and a half a day. Coach isn't gonna like this, but oh. I have I'm not a morning person at all. I have, but it was for good reason. It was to go see the bird for my son. I have, we won a lot of championships and did a lot of celebrating in Russia. I have never, but I plan to one day, maybe when I retire. I have, and immediately uh, my first week in Athens, I got lost because I had no idea how to read the Greek alphabet. So I was driving around Athens lost for about 45 minutes. I have Il Palo Italiano, molto bene. I have never. Um, last year, Milan was a lot of restaurants were closed because of COVID. I haven't got a, a chance to really explore as much as I want to, but I plan on this year. Hopefully, Gigi or, or Nico takes me out on a date. Lasagna. Smokey, my dog. Uh, sneakers, I'm a big sneakerhead. Netflix and chill. Forrest Gump. Uh, the Barack Obama memoir. Uh, 2012 EuroLeague final in Istanbul, Olympiakos, Cheska. Down by 19, we won. Kobe Bryant's last game when he scored 61 points. Stop, because I have two kids, so constantly stop. Losing my parents, my family. Enjoy, have fun. It's gonna be a heck of a ride. Boxer, uh, professional karaoke singer. <laughs> what up guys? Now we're in my kids' playroom. As you can see from all the toys, look forward to this next game and I hope you guys enjoy it. I pick travels. If I was to relax with my family, I would go to the beach, uh, Santorini, Greek islands, something like this. If I was going to go party with my friends, we would probably go to Ibiza or Mykonos, somewhere we can. <laughs> If I was going somewhere very romantic to fall in love again with my wife, it would be Paris, France, right in front of the Eiffel Tower. The city I would pick for my second home is where I'm at right now, Milan, Italy. 
My dream destination is to go to South Africa. I wanna go to Cape Town and go through safari. Where I would go if I wanted to explore or, or go something new, um, I think it would be Asia or China. I would love to go see the Great Wall of China and be able to explore and see all the different history that they have there. Guess what guys, I hope you're not tired of me because we have another section. For this next part, I will be answering your questions that you submitted on Instagram. That, that's a tough one. I've had many great coaches, but um, I'm going to say uh, Duda Ikovic. He's a great coach, a great person, um, a great mentor. Rest in peace to him. Uh, the favorite moment of my career was winning EuroLeague in 2019. It was my first time winning the EuroLeague and lifting the title up as a captain of the team. Um, I would probably say all of them, but I would say my favorite country to always travel to is Greece. They have great fans and great atmospheres there. Uh, my favorite place in Milan is Sapione Park. It's the, one of the largest parks. It's great, especially when the weather is nice. I hope our chances are high. Um, you know, we're going to work hard every day. You know, our main goal is to win the EuroLeague. That's what we're, you know, doing all these practices and all these long travels. Uh, every day, we usually have a day off, but Usually even on day offs, I go to the gym for therapy. Now guys, follow me to the kitchen where I'm gonna tell you about some sweet moments from my career and about my life. Uh, the sweetest thing in my life are my children. For me, coming home every day, seeing their smiling faces, they're always happy to see me. The sweetest memory that I have would probably be my wedding to my wife. You know, it's something that um, we're gonna to remember together forever. Um, it was the start, you know, of our union together. The sweetest thing that I like the most in my fridge is I'm a big fruit guy. I love fruit. So if it's strawberries or bananas or apples or anything like that. My two questions for the next player would be, what is one thing that the EuroLeague fans don't know about you? And the second question would be, if you had to listen to one song or one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Now I'm going to go pick up my kids from school that they're gonna enjoy some of their favorite treats. Take care guys, I'll see you again soon.